Over the years, we've had the privilege to see some great arms step on the pitcher's mound. Big names like Randy Johnson, Clayton Kershaw, and Greg Maddox are regarded as some of the greatest pitchers of all time. But now it's time to throw a new name into that conversation. Number 25 for the Z Fighters. Jeffrey Malara looks to make a name for himself after not getting a single out in week one of season three. In search of redemption, Jeff showed up on a Saturday morning to get some work in on the pitcher's mound and to make sure he was getting some quality work in he had to face the very best hitters we had around today jeff is up against nati korea career 178 hitter for the z fighters after pitching to nati for a few at bats jeff eventually got tired and gave up mid at bat even with an era of infinity this season it's clear that jeff wants to see some more time on the mound while facing jeff and his nasty heater nati would get jeff jammed a little bit and a little crack would show up on Lamas' bat. And because he's so rich with so much money, that bat was worthless to him. Clearly, the Z Fighters had an extremely productive practice, but now that practice is out of the way, let's move on to the game. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Hello. Good morning. How's it going? Hey, good, good morning. morning. Oh, not this good kid again. Good morning, Karina. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Hello. Good morning, Matthew. What's up? Oh, good morning, Chewy. You know, like, Spanish, get away from me. Get the camera away from me. Morning, DJ. Good morning. Well, hello there, Z Fighter fans, and welcome back to Third Time's a Charm with the Z Fighters. Week 6, we're up against the Devil Rays in this one, but before we get this game underway, let's check in with some of the guys. Go ahead, beat his ass. Hit him back. Hey, buddy. What? <laughs> that white team is new? No. No, no the one that they played. Oh, yeah, they're... they're... I haven't won a game. Uh, all I gotta say is I good luck. Go so I don't know if you guys know, but every week someone brings a cooler and drinks. <laughs> oh my god. And this week, look at the cooler, bro. Look at the cooler. Come check out the drinks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that looks fire. Little Gatorade, bro. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey, bro, that looks pretty average size to Guess me. who brought that? Who brought that? Hey, that's, per that's a perfectly fine size, right? That's an yeah. average size. I'm going to bring smart water. Okay. I'm going to bring big, Gatorade. big ass Gatorade. <laughs> all right. This guy's all cap, bro. Yeah. The day, the day I bring it. Yeah. We won? <laughs> You're not going to want to miss the day Chewy brings his ice chest with the big ass Gatorade. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 1 billion subs. It should matches? Hell yeah. Hell yeah? You think Chewy's going to match with it? Uh, I need a prediction right now. Where are you hitting the ball? Out of the infield? I'm going dead center. Dead yeah. center over the fence? Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. If you go back to all the Z5 you, videos, you're I've been saying. You have an added cam and everything. As I'm saying, Chewy's whack. I've been saying since day one, but nobody listens. What are you going to do when you go out back? I'm going to go hit a home run. Actually, yeah. not like Chewy. <laughs> you know, hey. I don't know if you guys remember. <laughs> Season one, this fool did not get hit until week nine. Oh. <laughs> week nine. <laughs> you know what? I don't play no more. I don't play no more. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time we finally get this game underway. And they're letting you break that bat in? Break it in if he hits it. Just know my shirt's gonna be for sale next week. People will only buy it if you hit a dinger right now. Looks like Chewy's not selling any shirts because he strikes out Chewy. to start the game. Brian, that outfield's calling your name. Look at it. That outfield's playing so far in. Chewy and Brain are not on the same level, and the pitcher clearly knows this. He bat. walks Brain. I would have done the same. And while Brain is a big guy, he's still a demon on the base pats, and the catcher also knows this. But our number three hitter, Nati, can't capitalize, and he strikes out. Yeah. Me back! Austin, I guess it's up to you, breaking that bat. And he gets the job done as he pushes the ball into the gap and he's off to the races. And by now, we should know how dangerous Austin can be when he turns on the Jets. That's a two RBI that. triple to get us going. Albie's up next and he says he's not a glazer, so he's not gonna use the new bat. But it all works out. The ball drops and Austin comes around to score. Brandon, that bat's for people who are 5'7 and taller. Oh, brother, and the camera woman is already hating on the boy. There's no wonder Brandon flew out to end the inning. All his confidence is gone. We just finished the first half of the first inning of this game. Three runs right away. Yeah. Thoughts? Yep, absolutely. Just how I wanted to come out. I love being the away team. I love putting up runs before they have a chance to retaliate. So as long as Albie gets out of this first inning, we'll be solid. Great position. And you know, we did have a, a brand new bat making its premiere at the game today. Yeah. Brain spent like cool $400 on that bat. So I mean, it better put in some work. 
<laughs> Thanks. Hey, by the way, you're catching today for Albie on the bump? No bucks? No bucks. No bucks. Let's get it. <laughs> the Z Fighters are up 3 0 early on. We got Albie on the mound and we got Jaime behind the plate. And this duo would actually get off to an atrocious start as Albie would walk or hit the first four batters in the lineup. And for those of you watching who don't really know baseball, let me tell you, that's bad. But we can't put all the blame on Albie. Remember, I said this duo got off to an atrocious start. And this right here might just be the worst play of the game. Jaime dropped what should be the first out of the inning and an easy out at that so that gives the hitter a second chance and he makes us pay number seven hits a shot down the left field line jeff can't get to it and all the runs come in to score hey way to be there and this inning just kept getting worse. We were already down 4-3, two outs in the inning, and a ground ball's hit to Austin. This should be automatic, but it gets by him, and another run comes in to score. So you just finished your first game pitching on the mound. Uh, not too hot. I just You're just warming up. up. I need You're just warming up. up. my boys right here. Hey, but you did get a direct hit back to you that yeah. you did catch. Yeah, yeah. So that was good, you know? You're yeah. still there. We're chasing two now, and Chewie's looking to put us back in this game with a shot over the right fielder's head. You're up, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up. All right, Chewie. We're chasing one run. We got two outs, and at the plate, we got Brain, who's arguably the best run producer on the Z Fighters. But all of this clearly means nothing to Chewie, who gets himself caught in a rundown. He literally just had to stand there and wait for Brain to drive him in. I could have bet my life that Brain would have got the job done. So just as easily as he produces runs, he takes them away. I just want to know, first off, who sent you? No one. Okay, second off, why didn't you just go the first time? Are you? Are you kidding me? If you run, you commit the whole way. I didn't notice how far it was until I looked back on the phone. Dude! <laughs> Welcome to today's game. <laughs> how you guys doing? The score is four to five. We're still chasing one, but we get off to a great start as Jeff makes a sweet catch in left field and Albie's loving it. Oh! And I don't know why Jasmine lets out a grunt here as if she got clobbered by this ball. She's standing behind the fence. So if you're worried about her, don't worry, she's fine. Jeff lays out for yet another baseball but is unable to snag this one. Albie battles back on his own and gets a strikeout. With two outs, the Devil Rays would poke a ball right by a diving brain and it'd get into the outfield. Nati would be there to pick it up and throw it in, but the throw would be a little too late and a run would come in to score. Hey, you want some, bro? <laughs> oh my god. You want some? <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Atta boy, Brian! To get us going in the next inning, Brain would hit a laser up the middle with a swing that has me wondering why there are no bat regulations in this league. To follow up, Nati rolls over to third base, but somehow manages to end up on second. With runners on second and third, Jeff shows off his situational hitting with the ground ball to second base. He gets the job done, a run comes around to score, and somewhere out there, my high school coach is jumping for joy. Austin would single up the middle to drive in Nati, and all of a sudden, the Z Fighters are only down one. But Hopefully, not for long, as Austin swipes second base to put himself in scoring position with Albie at the plate and only one out. Austin then swipes third, and at this point, he's just showing off. He gets in there with ease, but all of his efforts would eventually be for nothing as Albie hits a sack fly, or at least what should be a sack fly to left field, and Austin gets caught napping. He's running full speed all the way home until he realizes that there's only one out. You thought we had two outs? Yeah. Hey, okay. I thought somebody told me two outs. I don't know what that happened. Yeah, man. <laughs> All that running and for what? Okay, it's time we lock in. The Z Fighters are down 7-6. <laughs> it's time we make some changes. On the mound, we got DJ coming in with Brain catching for him. And no messing around, DJ gets straight to the point. Nice. And a boy, DJ! Could you be any slower? Call that boy Picasso, cause he's painting. 
<laughs> All right, DJ. Okay, okay. A very good <laughs> inning on the mound for DJ. Almost effortless. I can feel the momentum shifting in our favor. We gotta get this dub. Get that dub. Don't forget your five bucks. <laughs> the camera girl never gets appreciation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the fans have seen enough. They know the Z fighters are in good hands. Shout out to Boski and DH from Sunday League, the podcast. Using the team's new bat, Brandon puts a jolt into the first pitch of the inning, wasting no time. Wow! Go, 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 go. Brandon would come all the way around to score, tying the game at seven. But it's not looking good for the catcher. As he lay there, everyone is holding their breath until he just gets back up. <laughs> so the good news, the catcher's fine. He got right back up. The bad news, the Z fighters have tied this game. Bad news for the Devil Rays, that is. You know, we give you a hard time, but that was a pretty nice hit. <laughs> Now that the game is evened up, it could go either way. DJ gets right back to work with the strikeout. And you can tell he feels good up there as he floats a knuckleball into the strike zone. The batter doesn't know how to react. It's dancing. Pops it straight up to Lamas. That's out number two. The third out of the inning should be a ground out to Austin at short, but he bobbles it. Can't get the force at second and his throw to first is off. But DJ is not worried, nor is Austin as a matter of fact. Austin would actually make a much more impressive play for the third out of the inning and we'd get out unscathed. Not sure what the score is. I think we're winning. I think we're tied. I think we're tied. tied? Five. Yeah, I think tied. we're tied. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a bug. All right, don't even trip right now. I'm coming. Top of the lineup coming up. We'll see what it does. Turn up, baby. Turn up. Now it's time for us to take the lead. No more messing around. Nice. To lead us off, Austin singles, and Albie instantly drives him in with the ball mashed into the gap. You see, Albie, that's what happens when you submit to the powers of the new bat. And if I'm being honest with you, this bat was cheese. Some teams in the league were confident constantly complaining because of the first bat we bought. But is it really our fault that there are no regulations? Just wait until they have to face the wrath of this one. Hey, shout out Sunday League Podcast for these bracelets. Only reason I got a good hit today. <laughs> Smile for the camera. <laughs> the Z Fighters put up four runs in the top of the fifth inning. As we move to the bottom of the fifth inning, the Z Fighters lead 11 to 7. In DJ's first two innings of relief, he's yet to allow a run. And it doesn't look like that's going to change anytime soon. We see a great play from the rookie Esteban, who's now subbed in at second base. And for out number three, Picasso's back to work. Oh, or not. Hey, that was nice, DJ. Listen, Blue, if Brain thinks it's a strike, then it's probably a strike. You better call that next time. Daniel, good picture. A menace on the mound, DJ. Feeling good, ready for one more, maybe. DJ wants another inning on the mound, so we gotta get him some insurance runs. Brain would get walked to lead us off, and clearly, he's sick of it. Leave it to Nati to keep the line moving as he singles up the middle, and Brain advances to third base. Atta boy, Nati! And again, with the runner on third base, the situational hitting machine steps up to the plate again. Keeping it fundamental, Jeff hits a sack fly out to left field, brain tags and scores easily. And somebody please tell the catcher to get out of the way because if brain were to run him over, I'm not sure he'd get up as easily as last time. Coming off an RBI triple in his last at bat, Albie would come through with an RBI double in this one, scoring Austin as the Z Fighters put up two this inning. What is that? I thought you were playing better this game. Last at bats for the Devil Rays as the Z Fighters now lead 13 to 7. And the comeback is looking very unlikely as DJ has been practically unhittable this game. Who knows what DJ had for breakfast before this game, but I want some. And of course the Z Fighters would go on to win this game. Their record improves to 5 and 1, first place in the division. And you may be wondering, Vladdy, what the hell? You guys are supposed to suck. How do you guys keep winning? And I'm gonna keep it real. I don't know. What I do know is that everyone's having a lot of fun, the team looks good, and we're only gonna get better. Dinner on Jasmine, umpire feeds on Jasmine, new bat on Jasmine, everything on Jasmine. Final score! 
Korea, what was it? 13-7. 13-7, great win. That's five in a row. We're five and one now. We, should, we be, win? should be undefeated, but you know. Five and one though, we're in first place all by ourselves. Next week we got the Fantasmas who haven't won a game. Jeffy hey, on the bump, little Ron in relief. That's a bad. We're, we're be, uh, That's a bad omen right there. We're gonna be trying to mix it up a little. MVP, player of the game, player of the game. Who was player of the game in your head? Off the, off the. Bravo for buying the bat. Hey, this, this. Multiple hitless games. You know, chirping it up in the dugout, annoying the shit out of everybody. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> emphasize that annoying. Turned the shit it up. Out he turned it up today. He wasn't just there yeah. talking. He actually yeah. played baseball today. Anyone have any? Complaints at all. Play of the game. Let's go. Brandon with the home run. Oh, thanks to thanks to that bat. Hey, thanks to <laughs> Real MVP. As last week's player of the game, I congratulate Brandon as this week's player. Of the uh, game. Chewy! Chewy! Austin. What the hell did I do? Oh, Austin is expected to be locked down defense. Chewy isn't, you know? Mm. So Austin coming up a little short is kind of kind of tough. Hey, responsibility. Hey, worst player of the game. Surprisingly, Austin. Ooh, 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 ooh. But you know, he did have a good day at the plate. Let's not overlook that. Uh -huh. However, defense, not good. Hey, shout out Sunday League Podcast. As soon as they gave me this, home run. Oh. Game over. MVP. Uh, hey, what does it say? What does it say? What does it say? Z Fighters on three, Z Fighters on three. One, two, three, Z Fighters! Z -fighters. <laughs> well, my friends, we've reached the end of another video. The Z Fighters have done it again. Yes, I'm aware it's been two months since the last video, but because you've been so patient, I've got something in store for you in the next two weeks. You guys deserve much more content than what I've been providing. I I promise you it's only gonna get better don't forget we're on the road to 1 billion subs we still have quite the long journey so of course if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i appreciate you and i love you people have been asking me vladdy have the z fighters fallen off and my answer is buddy we're just getting started so be sure to subscribe leave a like and comment down below the z fighters have not fallen off i'll see you guys very soon